All right, guys. I'm gonna show you how to how I use my uh, Pigma Professional brushes here. Uh, cool thing about these brushes, uh, they come in three tips, which we have uh, fine, a uh, little thinner, medium, along with your bold, just for the thicker outlines. You know, it's a thicker brush. Uh, so, cool thing about these, these are unreleased. It should be in stores coming up soon. Um, I love these, the fact that they're waterproof and they don't show through uh, most of the papers. Usually I go ahead and start with uh, my medium brush. Reason being is just because I want to know where my black shading is going to be. Cool thing about these brushes is uh, you'll notice me flicker my, my wrist a couple of times. And reason being is because they kind of give you a curve uh, line compared to uh, just regular markers. With a fine tip to go ahead and give you a straight line. And notice what I do on the lips. Actually in the lips I only hit the sides. Reason being is because... The sides kind of have like a little shadow, and then the, the, the middle of the lips are actually going to be a little bit thinner, so I'll hit that with a fine point later on. Now that I know where my shading is going to be at, I'll go ahead and use my uh, bold brush, just to kind of fill those in. And you notice me, I actually pointed out the tip of it. Um, even though it's a bold uh, brush, I you can actually get some pretty thin lines. Um, notice that when I'm shading, I'm actually shading from the side, just because I can actually cover more area with that. And I'm leaving kind of some spaces in there, just reason being is because of uh, the lighting. Alright, so now I'm going to get my fine, my fine tip. And you'll notice I went ahead and did the lip. Um, these are mostly the areas that you can use with uh, crotch hatching, crotch hatch, hatching uh, shadowing. And the little small details there. And this, like I said, is just a quick sketch just to kind of show the capabilities of it. Uh, cool thing about this is um, I use the medium uh, brush just to kind of uh, do the background. And they don't have to be kind of straight. I'm just kind of seeing where, where I'm going to lay down the bold marker. And to tell you the truth, I actually carry these with me everywhere I go in my pocket. All three of them. Um, just because they can... It can kind of make a, uh, you can make a simple drawing or you can even make a, a, a little more, bit more complex. Uh, cool thing about this, I'm going to use my jelly roll at this point. Uh, what I do is I actually um, let the jelly roll ink leak onto either like business cards or anything. And I'll flicker it once I get a good amount. And it kind of gives you that little splatter motion of it. And I'll just go and hit it with my uh, white jelly roll just for the highlights. And... Even later on, I actually go into with a, um, even with a koi brush, uh, and enter some of the, a little bit more of a shadow there. But yeah, just a quick video, guys, just to kind of show uh, how sketching with these on the go will definitely bet you benefit you um, as an artist or even a doodler. All right.